SVDL and save it. So now let's render it and see what happens. Hopefully you guys can see this. Oh, here we go. So press the zero to move around. Use your mouse a little bit. And this is what we have for our terrain. So if you're walking on the terrain, you can see that all the higher areas are the gravel portions. Really not the best texture at all. We could probably scale it down so it looks a little bit better. And all the lower sections are going to be grass. So let's back out here, take a look at our terrain. Wonderful. That's just fantastic. Um, using other terrains or textures can also obviously make the looks better. Let's just say it's too bumpy for you and you want to flatten it out. What we can do is just press escape. What we can do is in the properties, when we call entity create and create that terrain, we can go to properties and do my dot scale z equals, we'll say zero. This should actually make it flat. Let's save that and see if it actually worked. And as you see, it did not work. Why? Because this is a terrain and you need to set the terrain chunk to zero in order for it to be editable. So let's go up to here under our video mode. It's variable terrain chunk, terrain underscore chunk equals, let's just set it to 64 and see what happens. Save this, play it. All right, still nothing. We need to get it to be flat. So let's go terrain chunk equals zero. Watch me be wrong here. Watch it not be flat. I might cry. Oh, here we go. Okay, so terrain chunk is set to zero. We're now able to edit this terrain. So now we have a flat terrain. That's too flat. We need to make it more mountainous. So let's go down in here and scale equals two. This will basically double what we had before. So I'd save it, run it, and it's very, very mountainous. Let's get up here and take a look. See, this is kind of like too bumpy. But it does look good if it was stretched out. So let's do something here. Let's say this little section in here is actually going to be a huge, vast area of terrain. What we're going to do is we're going to scale this out to be a huge terrain. So my dot scale x equals 250. My dot scale y equals 250. And the scale z, let's make it insane of maybe, oh, we'll just say 50. I don't know what the outcome's going to be, but it's going to be huge. Now, I wouldn't recommend this if you want to add, like, terraforming or uh, any type of terrain uh, deformation as the vertices are going to be so spread apart, it's almost going to render and change your entire map, or at least one one-hundredth of your map. So let's try these settings. We'll play it, and we'll see what we get. So now let's uh, see if we find our terrain. Like I said, it's going to be huge. Very, very, very huge. This might be too big. We might have to... No, this is too big. Let's, um, let's change this to maybe 10, and we'll do this 25. Okay, we'll run it, see what we get. Looks a little bit better here. Okay, so now we have scaled our terrain out. A lot of people wonder how they can get a massive terrain. Well, here it is. Your textures aren't stretched because we're using that plugin by JCL. The terrain looks good. It's spread out. You can do a lot of stuff here. I mean, this is pretty amazing to tell you the truth. When I first found this, I was shocked. I thought it was great. Okay, so now that we have this, be ready to create a player and have them start running around your world. Here's the terrain. You can sit here and go back to the code and you can sit here and play with the settings. Let's just say if you want to try a different scale, we'll go 200 on our scale. Try that to see what that looks like. And 200, of course, is going to make or shrink your textures, so there's more detail in the terrain. So you can get down low to the terrain, um, you know, with your character. So this is what I have for creating your first terrain. Hopefully you picked everything up. If not, if you have any questions, you can email me at Garrett at GarrettWaveman.com, or you can send me an MSN message using my email address, which is garrett at garrettwaveman.com, and hopefully you found this tutorial to be pretty cool. All right, thanks.